Hi everybody, this is Tara Woodruff from CoachTaraWoodruff.com and HelpfulEntrepreneur.com and this is my day 31 of 90 days from my video challenge. I'm very excited. This new year has really brought so much already. I can't even freaking believe it. It's incredible. But, um, but I wanted to tell you what I did. I saw a uh, video, I guess last week, from Ray Higdon about his vision book and it reminded me, oh my gosh, I used to do a vision book and what I would do is just anything that I liked, even if it wasn't something that I wanted to acquire, just something that made me feel good, whatever it was, I put in this book. And I used a composition book, and I would take the, the picture in, and I had some writing parts and stuff. But I realized that I like a vision book as well. So what I did, I'm going to show you. I finally got myself a completely empty book. It's not a composition book, but I don't know what happened to the prices of those things. They just went out the roof. And um, I had won the Gary Vaynerchuk uh, Sticker Mule giveaway, oh, I don't know, six or seven months ago. And also the decal. So I put the Jab Jab Right Hook calendar on the back, right? I also, because this is one of those cheaper office mask books, I put the decals, some decals right down the center. So it's it's kind of like a nice design there. You see that? And it's got his his quotes and it also they're like um they're not like regular stickers. They're like a like a plastic, you know what I mean? That they're strong. So I figured that would be great for me to totally hook up the binding part so that it would be able to handle what I'm gonna give it this this year. And I also put two more stickers in the front. And then what I did for the the name of the book, can you read that? 2014 Vision Book. And I have a quote from Abe on here. You only have to ask once. It's not the asking we need to do again and again. It's the allowing that we need to practice. So I'm super excited. Nothing's inside yet. I have it's a blank book right now. Um, i got to cut some pictures out. What I suggest to do with these is very much like a vision board. Um, Get some magazines where you really resonate with images. Um, I can give you some awesome uh, suggestions that you can find at your newsstand, you know, right there in the grocery store and so forth. Coastal Living, one of my all-time favorites. If you're the type of person that likes to um, envision a beautiful home on the beach, that's the place to go. Um, and they do everything from cottages to mansions. Um, any kind of architectural digest. for If, if you dig really high-end stuff, I'm a, a huge fan of chandeliers. You would never know. You would never know it right now. Chandeliers rock the world. And they, there's, you know, even in their advertisements, there's these beautiful pictures of, of different things and high-end architects and absolutely gorgeous mansions. Love that. Um, also, another magazine that I find very awesome, Simple Living, Oprah, or the O Magazine. Um, That's pretty much at the top of my head right now. When you when you look at when you think about physical fitness, I find that I find the bodies of women that I would prefer to have in like men's health versus a woman's magazine. Either you know like cosmopolitan cosmopolitan the women are too skinny, and the women fitness magazines they're too fit. It seems that. In the Men's Health magazine, if you want to put a picture of a body that you desire or a physical fitness that you want to emulate, because your body's your body, and the girl's a model, and there's Photoshop, and it's not going to be perfect, and that's okay because she isn't either, you just can't tell kind of thing. But they seem to be the healthiest looking bodies in the Men's Health magazine. Got me. I don't know why. I don't know why. So that's another great magazine. Also, um... If you are in love, or you want to be in love, or you envision an amazing relationship, or something like that, get a bridal magazine, or a honeymoon magazine. Condé Nast Travel is an excellent magazine, and I also love, 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 love. And I know it's probably a sin to even cut one open. National Geographic. So, get out there, get yourself some magazines, or get subscriptions to some to save you some money, however you want to do it, and um, get physical with it, cut things out, you know, use your scissors, and get yourself a plenty of tape, 
you know, I like the, the flat matte tape, and I cover the entire picture so it's like forever. And start posting it into your book, and you don't have to worry about coming back and saying, gosh, I don't have that anymore. As a matter of fact, don't even look back if that's how it makes you feel. Whenever you look at images of things that you desire to surround yourself with, it's an essence. And like Abe said, you only need to ask once. And if you're looking at it, it should feel good. You shouldn't, um, it should feel really good and you should be open and allowing and not be like, oh, why don't I have that yet? Another really great way, because magazines these days, I was pricing them out yesterday, you know, woo, see the pricey. It's funny because it's not the, the medium that makes more money, which is a little strange. Why they would be so expensive, you would think they'd be giving them away. But that's, that's not the case. Um, go on the internet. If you have a printer and you have a decent, you know, inkjet, whatever, you can find amazing pictures there. You know, uh, just Google images. Go look at, you know, sunsets, sunrises, couples walking on a beach, mansions on the ocean, you know, homesteads, whatever you're into. Go look it up, print a picture, and cut it out and put it right in your vision book or on your vision board. So, that's super exciting. Also, don't be afraid to stick things on the outside. Um, like I did. And this is going to get filled up with stickers, you know, with p different pictures. So I love that. Anyway, um, also what I did is because I wanted to, you know, I know a book cover is supposed to save a book. But what happens when the book cover is so genius? The fonts are right, the texture is right, the quality of the paper is right, everything feels good about it. And you want to make sure that book cover never sees a day of shame. You take it off your book. And then when you're done reading your book, you put it back on. That's what I do. And, uh, this particular book, the cover is cray cray. Love it. I'm into that shit. I, you know, there was a period of time when I was, when I was young. I don't even know how old. Tenth grade. I was down, down, with graphic design, and fonts really turned me on. I'm a font freak, crazy. Love font. But that never ever panned out for me, you know, that never, it, it wasn't that it didn't pan out, it just never held my passion long enough to go through what it takes to get somewhere. But I've always kept with it, I've always enjoyed it, you can kind of tell, I really like making banners and graphics and stuff, but I just do, you know, I just choose font and put it on there, I don't create font, I don't know HTML code, but I know good um, ad copy when I see it, I know when it's compelling, and I absolutely love the cover of Jab, 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 Right Hook. So I took it off <laughs> and I put it on my bookshelf and I put one of the stickers that I won from Gary Vaynerchuk. Vaynerchuk. Gary V. At Gary V. on Twitter. Um, and put it right on the front. So it's kind of sexy, don't you think? Like, check me out. Anyway, I've got some big plans for this year, and I hope that you do too. I hope that this year for you is just stellar. I hope you do one thing different every day to kind of mix it up. Because when you do that, you kind of, it's like a lotus, you know, you just open up to the possibilities. So, get to work, you know. Don't let nothing distract you. Be, be prepared and ready to run hard this year. Don't wait to do it. Get on it. Find something that you like and run with it. You don't have to be everywhere. You don't have to, and this is something I find is, is really poignant in the network marketing industry, which is my profession, is people always looking for, you know, the right company, and oftentimes they, they get tied up with that. Um, give yourself a break. Get a system. Get a system. You have to have one anyway, no matter what, that you absolutely love. Work that system. Run that affiliate so you earn some money. So you're doing that front end funded proposal so it's funding the business and give yourself some real insight as to what you want and be really honest about compensation plans. I mean there's really no such thing as a bad one, you're going to get paid, but you've got to know how it's going to affect you and you know don't get hung up on it. There's a company out there for everyone, as a matter of fact it's, a, it's like the largest, in, it's bigger than, this is crazy, it's bigger than print, it's bigger than 
movies and bigger than the music industry all at one time. So stop letting your friends tell you that you're in some pyramid scheme or why don't you go get a job because you're a professional and when if you're in that moment where you're not sure what to do and you're like, oh gosh, what am I going to do? Just get the skills in. You know, get your system, learn your system, work your system, make sure you have your blog, make sure you have a YouTube channel, make sure you're taking action and just start your attraction marketing. Just start letting people come to you. And then when you find a place, it's not going to be something that you're going to have the need to be like, uh, you know, blasting it out. You know, you, you'll be able to send your list. Hey, this I found this and this is something that I think you should all look at because I looked at it and I really dig it. And You know, do stuff like that. Don't get hung up on it because the end result is going to happen. It's it's the journey that makes it really sexy. So if you're if you're honing your skills as a network marketer because those the professional skills that you're going to gain that you're going to need are going to set you apart from from people out there that do have a job that you know their company's got to hire teams of people just to figure out what you do every day. Serious. I'm so serious. What else did I want to say? Um You know, I just I'm really, ex I'm super passionate this year about the industry. I'm super passionate about what I have to offer it. I'm just, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm walking on the moon. This is part of the journey, and I'm really loving it. Um, and just watch out. That's all I can say. I mean, I ain't gonna make any declarations or anything like that. But I think you all know where I'm going, and it's not down the tubes. No. Um, what else? That's all I, I wanted to talk about that. And uh, it's cold, and it's really cold here in Florida. <laughs> I know looking at me right now, you can't really tell it's cold. I'm in a t-shirt. We do have the heat on, which is kind of... I did not do the heat last year or the year before. Um, and it's going to go away for us, thank gosh. You know, right away. Like, tomorrow's going to be 60 degrees. Beautiful. And I'm, you know, in this coldness, I'm looking... And I kind of, you know, I ignore the cold all the other times all across the country. You know, I know people are cold. Man, I don't know how some people are doing it. I know that there are so many homeless people out there that are just, how, how are they doing this? You know, how are they banding together to stay warm? How are they managing in this? How many people passed away last night in their sleep because it was cold? That's some scary stuff. So, um, you know, I want to encourage you this year to um, be more so that mayhap you can inspire someone else to be more. And um, homelessness is not a disease. It's not um, something that makes you a bad person. As a matter of fact, it's freedom. The problem is, is when it's tough like this, when the environment gets at you, our society isn't built for, um, you know, being natural with the environment. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. So, the lifestyle is very hard. And I just, you know, I, I encourage you all to do this. There's one thing in the world that makes everyone feel good. From rich to poor to young and old, it really does make people feel really yummy. Go down to your dollar store or go down to your Walmart or wherever it is. I don't care where you buy it from. There's no, I'm not concerned with anything there. Go buy a pack of socks or two or three or 20. Socks. And the next person you meet that is homeless, give it to them. Give it to them. Socks. They make everything better. All right. Well, this is Coach Tara Woodruff, HelpfulEntrepreneur.com. And uh, definitely check out the links below. I'm going to throw in there HelpfulEntrepreneur.com. If you want to go pro in your business and you really want to take it to the next le level, you need to have a system. And if you're still not sure about what business you want to do, whatever MLMs out there, you're still going to need a system, and it's a great place to start. It's a great place to learn and make some money and make, fund your proposal. Fund the business you want to go to. Okay? So, I love you all. Let's get this. Yes. Bye.